My name is Mac the Turtle, and you are watching Bull Brezza News Blitz, two minutes of crypto, where we cover 24 hours of crypto in just two minutes. Let's get started. The SEC is once again making waves. They just claim that NFTs are actually securities, and they've sent a Wells notice to OpenSea, which means they're threatening to sue. This could shake up the entire NFT space. What do you think this will mean for the future of NFTs? Let me know in the comments. In a shocking move, France has charged Telegram founder Pavel Durov with several violations related to the app. They even arrested him for four days, but let him go on a 5 million euro bail. However, Durov isn't allowed to leave the country. What's next for Telegram and its founder? Speaking of Telegram, its Ton blockchain had to pause transactions again after being offline for seven hours. This time, the heavy load was caused by the minting of the popular dogs token. Could Ton's stability be in question? In a massive move that's making headlines, blockchain company Block DAG has secured a $10 million three-year global partnership with one of the biggest football clubs in the world, Borussia Dortmund. This is huge for both the blockchain and sports worlds. Finally, Indian crypto exchange WazirX is facing major challenges. They've filed for a moratorium in Singapore's high court to address crypto balances. This gives them 30 days to sort out their liabilities. How will this impact the users and the crypto market? From the SEC cracking down on NFTs to Telegram's founder getting arrested, it seems like regulators are stepping up their game. And with WazirX filing for a moratorium, it's a reminder of the risks that come with crypto exchanges. What's really concerning is the instability with Tom blockchain, especially since it's associated with Telegram. Let's see how things play out in the next few weeks. That's it for today's updates. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe Bull Brezza for more news daily, 9 p.m.